are in the middle of a dried out river. The green route which goes to the Mitzbe Moav lookout and this is actually really amazing where you go through the cliffs. Right now we are halfway on this walk and the views are always amazing then they're always getting better so you always have a perfect view. This viewing point here is awesome. Never saw something like this before. Pretty creative for every age. You can do more. No. No? That's enough. Enough for today. So I think it will be pretty scary over there. Oh. Here are some hotels, but it seems uh, that there's uh, nobody in and the doors are open and it's uh, destroyed. I'm wondering what happened here. like nothing like to the left and to the right and just like mountains further away and every now and then you see like a sheep and goats and just like one person who's with them we are driving through a military area Actually, we are not allowed to film, but yeah, we are in the middle of a desert, so... The first person that gets a steady shot on, oh, on this road is like the master. While driving, because if you stand here, it's alright. We are on this uh, kind of off-road road, <laughs> and our car is pretty shitty. So this is the old road to Eilat and we are driving through this desert area and it looks so, so cool here. The road is super tiny small and there was just a car and it was so close. looking amazing. We just stopped again here in the desert and it is super hot here and it's also super bright so you can't actually uh, see anything without sunglasses but other than that it's a good view of the mountains Up. before we go to the national park in Avedat we will just eat something right here 
and there are goats and donkeys. Hey donkey. Whee. The goats belong to this woman behind us and <laughs> they're running away from us. <laughs> we eat the same things every day. It's usually hummus with some fruit uh, or some vegetables and bread and cheese and then we dip it in and then yummy yummy hello she's gonna eat the camera yes man i think maybe we have to drive back but i'm not sure this was actually the upper entrance so we had to drive all the way back to the other entrance and now we are here and hopefully that's gonna work this time so we still didn't find the entrance it's so frustrating it's all written in Hebrew we thought we drive to the entrance again and then uh, try the route uh, from the other way around but some guys told us that it's illegal Hi guys, Hi. it goes just like this. Do you have any supervision? Because you are not allowed to do what you're doing. The pike is closed already, we're the last one. So we decided not to do it. And yeah, we go there tomorrow, I think, when we have time. Beautiful ramen crater. This is great. And there's a bicycle down there. <laughs> And lots of rubbish. Yes. There are even cars driving through the ramen crater. And maybe we will drive through it tomorrow as yeah, well? I think so, yeah. Cool. Something written on the rocks. <laughs> because I'm awesome. Yes. <laughs> One, two, three. Woo! So we just arrived in Mr. Ramen and this is our ho uh, hostel here. So we've got a big room here where you can sit and a cool kitchen where you can cook. And it seems to be pretty cool. It looks like we're cooking for at least five persons but uh, we're just cooking for ourselves. <laughs> this is our dinner for today and it's looking awesome. Yeah. 